Most people might be hearing the name Barbados for their first time. Whatever the case, Barbados is an island country in the Lesser Antilles of the West Indies in the Caribbean region of North America and is the most easterly of the Caribbean islands. It lies on the boundary of the South American and the Caribbean plates. Its capital and largest city is Bridgetown. Mia Amor Motley is a politician and lawyer from Barbados, born on October 1, 1965. She has led the Barbados Labour Party BLP, since 2008 and has been the country's eighth prime minister since 2018. She is the first female to occupy either role. She also served as Barbados' first prime minister under the Republican government after her proposed constitutional amendments ended the nation's constitutional monarchy. Now she is spearheading an ambitious vision to upgrade Barbados' infrastructure and empower its people to thrive. In this video, you'll learn how Motley is leading the project to overhaul the island's roads, airports, and ports to boost tourism. We'll also show how these key improvements are creating new economic opportunities and improving daily life. Stay tuned to witness Barbados rising under the bold leadership of this daughter of Africa. We'll give you an inside look at how Mia Motley's progressive governance is building national pride and prosperity. By the end, you'll understand why this transformative leader gives hope to millions across the Caribbean and the world. Without wasting much of your time, let's dive into some of the ongoing projects. 1. Barbados International Airport One of the most visible signs of transformation is the ongoing $200 million redevelopment of the Barbados International Airport. The sparkling new International Airport Terminal will welcome visitors to the island with style and efficiency. Gone are the days of the old, cramped airport facilities. The new expansive terminal building offers passengers a spacious, breezy interior with increased capacity to handle higher passenger volume. Travelers will appreciate the simple check-in process and expanded dining and retail options. Large banks of windows let in plenty of natural light and provide opportunities for seeing planes. Outside, the single runway is being upgraded to accommodate wider, longer-range aircraft. New aircraft parking positions and two new taxiways reduce ground congestion. Behind the scenes, updated baggage handling and screening technology will quicken luggage delivery. The redevelopment increases the airport's capacity from 1.4 million to over 5 million passengers annually. This supports Barbados' growing position as a favorite Caribbean holiday destination and allows easy expansion of flights in the future. The project is transformational for both citizens and visitors alike. Barbados can now directly receive flights from more distant locations like Dubai. Travelers worldwide will find it simpler than ever to enjoy an island getaway. When completed, this sweeping project will provide a new world-class airport that matches Prime Minister Motley's vision for a thriving, globally connected nation. 2. The Barbados Light Rail System Another massive infrastructure project symbolizing the Motley-led transformation is the new $500 million island-wide light rail system. This half-billion-dollar light rail network sought by Prime Minister Motley will modernize public transportation here for the digital age. Right now, getting around Barbados by bus and taxi is expensive, slow, and stressful. Advanced rail cars arriving soon for testing will whisk residents and tourists quietly and smoothly to their destinations. Gone will be the hassles of traffic jams or overloaded buses stranded in gridlock. With fare costs half that of current bus rides, the sleek trains will make getting around affordable for all badges. The new light rail line will speedily link downtown Bridgetown to the upgraded airport in 15 minutes. That's a ride that used to take nearly an hour of crammed minibus and car traffic. Beyond the airport, the light rail will run across the island touching all parishes, so Banshans commuting to work or visitors sightseeing can ride easily to key spots like historic Spatestown, surfing hotspots on the east coast, and agriculture regions inland. Simply hop aboard the quick, quiet light rail trains gliding atop the rails over traffic. Best of all, the entire light rail network will be powered by renewable energy. Not a drop of imported fossil fuels that drain Barbados's foreign cash reserves. 
As Mez Motley says, why waste funds on gas and diesel when Barbados basks in abundant sun and wind? Her administration is serious about making this nation 100% green. 3. The Barbados Sustainable Development Center the next pivotal plank in Prime Minister Motley's national upgrade vision is the $20 million Barbados Sustainable Development Center. This new high-tech complex will make the island a global model for green innovation and education. The center's showpiece building under construction will now contain exceptional facilities for conferences, training programs, and research. Thousands will gather in the convention halls to share ideas and form partnerships for environmental entrepreneurship. Classrooms nearby will give students hands-on learning in fields like solar power engineering, eco-friendly construction, and agriculture technology. The center's sustainability library will offer free tools for organizations, farms, and families to adopt greener lifestyles. Do you want to start recycling or build an energy-efficient home? The resources here will make it simple, no matter your income. Most visionary, the center provides a living model right on its premises of viable green development. The Buzzing Business Incubator offers mentoring and seed funding for young entrepreneurs ready to launch startups supporting sustainability. 4. The Weston's Fish Market Redevelopment This popular open-air market in Bridgetown is the heart of Barbados' fishing industry. For decades, locals and tourists alike have come here daily to buy fresh catches straight from Bajan fishing boats. This historic marketplace has been the heart of commerce and community here for over a century. However, the aging fish market buildings have badly deteriorated over time. Leaky wooden roofs, cramped fish processing areas, and decaying bathrooms all required urgent upgrades. Prime Minister Motley has now delivered. But lately, the aging fish market has fallen into disrepair with crumbling structures and inadequate facilities. Mia Motley is leading a $100 million effort to restore the Weston fish market to its rightful place as a cultural treasure. A new state-of-the-art fish processing facility will improve quality and increase sales for local fishing fleets. Cleaner prep areas, ice machines, and holding tanks will ensure fishermen can deliver fresh catches from sea to plate here daily. A larger covered marketplace will accommodate more chef's counters, serving up snapper, mahi-mahi, and flying fish to satisfy the appetites of both locals and foodies. Capping it off is a majestic roof over the entire market, perfect for outdoor arts, crafts, and music celebrations connecting the community. Motley wants this space to triple as the marketplace, culinary hub, and cultural exchange. 5. The Barbados Marriott Resort and Spa The new $200 million Marriott Resort and Spa, arising on the south coast, is another mega-project by this daughter of Africa. This luxury beachfront hotel and marina complex, led by Motley, will expand five-star tourism options, catering to high-end travelers from Europe, Asia, and America. The hotel's layout is designed to immerse guests in an authentic Bajan experience. An in-site design museum will feature creations by famed Barbadian fashion artist Heidi Klum. The lush 18-hole golf course winds through old sugarcane fields. The Marina Village also has an explosion of restaurants run by award-winning local celebrity chefs. Most meaningfully, the Barbados Marriott will provide over 500 full-time hospitality jobs for Barbadians. Ms. Motley insisted on an all badge staff earning a living wage and sharing their culture. From front desk clerks to housekeepers, bartenders, and servers, this resort presents a career path for many citizens. No foreigners are imported just because tourists expected them. 6. The Barbados Coastal Resiliency Project as Bombados modernizes, Prime Minister Motley recognizes the existential threat climate change poses to the island's future. Rising seas and devastating hurricanes made more intense by global warming endanger Barbados. To secure the nation, Motley is investing $100 million in a vital coastal resiliency project. Massive new rock and concrete seawalls are being erected that absorb and deflect pounding storm waves. Natural buffers of mangrove trees and grasses are also being replanted to diffuse tidal surges washing inland. Most innovatively, 
a necklace of artificial reefs and wetlands are built offshore to weaken tempest waves before they strike land. These reefs carefully built by Beijing marine scientists also have ecological benefits, providing habitats for turtles, oysters, and fish stocks. Barbadians young and old know how fearful they feel watching sea levels annually swell higher, eroding their island's edges despite the world's failure to curb emissions. Mia Motley shares their anxiety about the slow-moving climate crisis, but she insists on defending Barbados' full coastline to give coming generations a fighting chance. The Prime Minister's ideology is that no national historic site, seaside village, or sandy beach shall be sacrificed. Prime Minister Motley can only link Barbadians digitally in the 21st century by first physically defending this country. 7. The Barbados Museum and Historical Society The $30 million expansion of the renowned Barbados Museum and Historical Society is another project many are talking about. This treasured museum first opened in 1933 and contains centuries of artifacts preserving the island's cultural heritage. From native Arawak Indian tools and ceremonial dress, to European maps and military uniforms when British ships first sighted Barbados, to slave trade abolitionist literature that spread ideas of liberation, the museum collection comprehensively documents every era shaping Barbados' national identity. However, storage space constraints meant only 1% of these over 100,000 national treasures could be displayed at once. Prime Minister Motley declared this hidden history must be revealed and appreciated by all Barbadians. We'll tour the major new museum wing's opening to fulfill her vision. State-of-the-art climate-controlled archives will protect delicate manuscripts from decay. Digitized catalogs will let global researchers scout holdings remotely. Expanded floors of interactive exhibits, dioramas, and 3D displays will take visitors chronologically through defining periods that molded Barbados. 8. The Barbados Port Incorporated Cruise Expansion No project better captures the island's prospects than the $250 million expansion of the Bridgetown Cruise Ship Port. This colossal development, led by Port CEO Mark Darcy, under Prime Minister Motley's guidance, positions Barbados as the preeminent destination in the Southern Caribbean for maritime tourism. A vast new terminal complex designed with vivid coral stone and local designer arts takes the place of old livestock loading docks and packed passenger tents. Ultra-modern transport loading sectors allow four major cruise liners carrying over 15,000 visitors to simultaneously berth. State-of-the-art baggage and shopping zones then efficiently funnel debarking tourists outward to savor Barbados' renowned hospitality. Yet the expanded port also serves assistance with its seaside restaurants, farmers' markets, and dazzling public waterfront park for events and relaxing in the sea breeze. No other development embodies Motley's vision of upgrading Barbados' critical infrastructure to benefit visitors and Beijing's alike. The new port's double capacity for cruise guests seeking Caribbean paradise secures the island's economic future. Each tourist's average spending of $200 a day cascades across Barbados, nourishing small businesses for taxi drivers, food vendors, retailers, and tourism operators. That multiplier effect maintains Barbados' coveted status as a rising, stable economy for developing neighbors. As we gaze out at more immense, sparkling new cruise ships pulling into the completed port, this country's destiny under the leadership of Prime Minister Mia Motley is undeniable. Her upgrades across air, land, and sea are steering this proud island nation to calmer, brighter horizons benefiting all. 9. The Barbados Ocean Park under Prime Minister Motley's vision, the island of Barbados will get its own marine life center and theme park. It is a $25 million project. With the help of Planet Blue, both residents and tourists will be able to enjoy the amazing treasures of Barbados oceans. The state-of-the-art aquarium tanks will showcase vivid tropical fish, gently swaying sea fans, and mission coral reefs. Nearby touch pools allow kids to interact with starfish, conch shells, and sea urchins. The most anticipated attraction is a large lagoon habitat for rescued sea turtles, injured dolphins, and nurse sharks. 
Not only does rehabilitating these amazing creatures aid conservation, but visitors floating through the crystal waters gaze at them up close through underwater viewing tunnels. It's a magical way for all ages to appreciate Bob Bado's precious marine resources. The Ocean Park also focuses on public education to conserve fragile ocean ecosystems being degraded by climate change. 10. The Expansion of Barbados National Stadium No showcase of Barbados National Rebuilding is complete without highlighting the $50 million expansion of the Barbados National Stadium. This arena serves as the spiritual hub of Bajan sports and is home to legendary track and field athletes like Obadele Thompson. And Prime Minister Motley is elevating its facilities to develop the next generation of athletic talent here. Doubling seating capacity to 20,000 allows bigger crowds to fill its slopes for regional and global competitions like the Olympics and World Championships, which will potentially be held here soon. State-of-the-art lodges for visiting athletic teams will also enable Barbados to host more elite sports camps and training programs year-round. 11. The Barbados Cricket Academy and Sports Village Looking ahead, one future crown jewel development set to elevate Barbados as a global cricket hub is the $40 million Cricket Academy and Sports Village. This world-class facility, envisioned by Prime Minister Motley, will expand the local passion for cricket into a key economic growth sector. Though still in architectural planning, we'll showcase the Academy's models and location. Situated beside the upgraded National Stadium, aspiring young Bajan cricket athletes will train in state-of-the-art nets and practice pitches tailored to West Indies conditions. Ultra-modern health facilities will nurture players' fitness, nutrition, and mental preparation too. But the Academy's shining centerpiece will be a dedicated cricket research institute. Top international coaches and analysts will study innovations in batting biomechanics, safe bowling techniques, and the use of technology like video analytics. What's discovered here will circulate worldwide. Mia Motley foresees this institute elevating Barbados as the global authority on advancing cricket excellence and safety. Already top foreign teams are discussing holding their pre-World Cup camps on the Academy's pitches that mimic Caribbean surfaces. The student lodging may also be rented as a cricket-themed resort. Beyond athletic training, this African daughter sees boundless potential for sports, science, and tourism to become pillars of Barbadian innovation and prosperity. This daughter of Africa is truly transforming Barbados through people-centered national rebuilding. Prime Minister Motley's visionary leadership is uplifting the island economically and socially. What inspires you most about this national transformation story? Let us know in the comments. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to the new tourist channel. Turn on notifications too so you get notified whenever we upload videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.